I'm Stephanie Marco with thatantralife.com. Welcome to WGC. Today we're continuing number nine of our weight loss series. It's going to be a really nice set laying down, um, toning the body and helping to really melt away excess fat around these areas and also to bring some really wonderful prana and allowing that to flow through your body. So let's begin. As with every Kundalini yoga class, we will tune in with Ong Namo, Guru Dev Namo, which means I bow to the teacher within me to guide me from darkness to light. So just come seated in a nice comfortable position with the legs crossed, sit bone tucked, connected to the ground beneath you, chest is open, shoulders are up and back, Belly is nice and relaxed, filling with air on the inhale, and the navel point moving back to the spine during the exhale. We'll just come rubbing our hands together, bringing them to the center of the chest, thumbs at the sternum, with the chin slightly tucked and the eyes inward and upward at the third eye point, and closed. And let's inhale. Filling that belly with air. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. And inhale to begin. Suspend the breath, feeling yourself lighting up, beginning to expand your aura, feeling yourself expanding with the breath as all of this energy just vitalizes your body. And exhale, releasing and tuning in to this reset. To start the Kriya, this um, is our ninth part, as I mentioned. So we're going to lay on our bellies and we're going to do a locust and a bow pose. And this is really gonna be great for breaking up fat in the body and toning certain areas around your waist and those areas that are a little hard to work out in usual fashions. And it's also gonna be really great for your mental state to put you into a nice relaxed place but challenge you just a bit. So come laying on the belly, and we're going to put our hands into Venus lock behind the back. And we're going to slowly lift up the legs and the head and hold it. And that's it. We're just gonna breathe naturally here for about three minutes. And if you feel your monkey mind telling you you can't do it or creating pain, just breathe through it. Just keep yourself up, being gentle but firm. Eyes are closed, focusing inward.
Really letting your arms hold you into the posture. Opening your heart. And just breathe. Really observing how the energy is flowing through your body in this posture. Just one more minute. You're doing great. And if you feel like giving up, just pushing yourself to go higher, not lower. It's beautiful. Controlling the breath. And inhale, holding. And exhale, relax. And just letting yourself melt into the ground beneath you. Releasing the hands. And feeling yourself take in this relaxation. Allowing the pace of your heart to slow down. Allowing the breath to slow. Now for our next part, we're going to lie on the stomach and we're going to bend our knees and catch our ankles with our hands and raise ourselves into bow pose. And just breathe. Really just feel yourself surrendering into the pose, not forcing. Just letting your breath and your body be relaxed in this pose. Feeling which muscles are engaged, sending them love. Letting the energy flow through you in this pose. And using your breath to free any blocks that might be coming up. Please inhale deeply and hold, bringing yourself up a little higher. Exhale and relax. And again, just melting, allowing the heart rate to slow, bringing the breath deeply back into 
a more relaxed flow. And coming back again, catching the ankles, raising the body into bow pose. We're gonna hold it again for another minute. Sensing anything that might be different this time. Maybe you're more open this time. Maybe you can pull yourself a bit higher. But just dropping the conscious mind and letting yourself go inward. Sensing whatever is coming up in this pose for you. And breathing. Inhale, pulling yourself up a little higher. And exhale, relax. Slowing down. Being grateful for your body. We're going to repeat the sequence now again, but this time for a shorter period of time. So we're going to bring the legs together and go into locust, putting the hands into Venus lock, pulling up the legs and the chest, head is back. Legs are straight, arms are straight, chest is open. Thirty more seconds. Inhale, pulling up. And exhale, relax. And just really feeling that energy coming through your spine. opening up your prana. If you start to shake during any of these exercises, know this is just prana, some nervous energy that's being released through you. 
and just let yourself shake. There's nothing wrong. Just breathe through it. And so we're going to go back into our bow pose. Our last sequence, our last exercise in the sequence. Pulling ourselves up again. Opening ourselves a little further than we did the last time. Giving ourselves full expansion this last minute. And breathe. Really visualize the air just opening you up and coming through your body. more seconds. Inhale, pulling yourself up. And exhale, relax. And completely let go. And just let every cell in your body relax. The feet are relaxed. The ankles are relaxed. The calves and knees and thighs melting into the ground. Your pelvis. Letting go of your belly. Your chest is relaxed your shoulders and upper back just melting letting go of tension in your neck and your throat letting go of the jaw and face and cheeks are completely relaxed Sensing your eyes and your forehead and your brow melting and relaxed. Oh, yeah. The crown of the head, the back of the head, your ears. Letting your whole self relax. Sensing your hands letting go the ankles, the wrists, the elbows. And when you're ready, you can slowly bring yourself up into a seated position. Letting any tension in the neck be released. If there's any residual tension there. And thank you for joining us here on WGC. I'm Stephanie Marco, wishing you a beautiful day. And may truth be your identity. Satnam.
Love to you.